Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at particle systems again. And this will look familiar to you because just like in the previous lesson where we were looking at colors and how you can change colors on different objects, we're going to do the same thing with particle systems. And you'll notice it has the same kind of look as this. So over here in the particle system, if I come here and add a particle system, well actually I didn't want to add it to that object, hang on. I want to add it to this sphere here. So add a particle system and there it is, highlighted, because that's the only one in there. Right, and so though in the when we were changing materials, we had to go in and select a material in edit mode and assign a different color or material. But with particle systems, the better way to work is you work with vertex groups. So I'm going to create a couple vertex groups, and we'll just call it group zero and group one. All right, so within edit mode, maybe I'll get f face select, and maybe this will be my first group here, first vertex group like that, and I'll come down here and I'll give it, it's got a weight of one and I'll assign it. All right. And then I'll, oh, actually, I don't want to do that. I wanted to turn those others off, so I'll do that again. Hang on. I'll get just these here. I'll give that a weight of one, assign that. I'll press Control I and give this a weight of zero and assign that like that. Well, that's just for this group. All right, so now for another group, I'm going to come here for this vertex group. I'm going to do just the opposite. I'm going to maybe make these active here. And I'll give those weight of one. Assign those. And then control I selects the inverse. And I'll make those zero. And assign that as well. All right, now you should be completely familiar with this from a lot of my other tutorials on how to do this and with particle systems in general. All right, so I'll leave that and go back into the particle system tab with this object. And so then, since I have those two vertex groups and this one particle system, let's see if we can differentiate one from the other. So I'll start this from, say, 1 to 100, like this. And for doing it, I'll come down here to the vertex groups. And in this first one for density, I'll pick up that first vertex group right in here like this. All right, so then when I press Alt A, you can see the particles are just running from that vertex group. Okay, so then, I, but now I want to control it differently so I have different particle systems working on this object at the same time. So now, so what I'll do here, just like we did with the materials, I'll add the materials over here with this plus button. So I'll add a new particle system, number two, in here. And in this, I'll come down here with vertex group and I'll give this vertex group the other I'll make that the other vertex group and I'll start that say at 100 to 200 like that and the other one I'll that was 1 to 100 and this is 100 to 200 alright so um, okay that should be it so let's run it so there's that one there. In fact, if I click on it, you can see it's highlighted. And then, and then that one there. All right. So then, when you can, then that allows you to control, you know, the different groups. Like maybe this first group here, I'll just change it so it's shooting out faster. Maybe like that, and the other one's not. So there's that shooting out like that, right? Or you could even do it so you know they're shooting out at just slightly different rates or the same rate just at different times or whatever but it gives you a lot of control and you can see it's just the exact same way as you're doing with the materials you're just adding it to the system in here and assigning accordingly okay well that should you know kind of help get your particles in order just a little bit more every little bit helps and um, that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson